All right, hello, hello, Sagittarius. Thank you all so much for taking the time to view this. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest, right? This is the Love Oracle of Eden. It's timeless, but I am doing it in February's energies. So uh, 331, so Aries pop in for you. So I bring up the other zodiac signs to give more clarification. You could also have rising sign, moon sign, Venus sign, Sagittarius, but also whatever your Venus sign is. If you want to uh, listen, I, I would suggest listening also to your Venus sign. There might be messages for you um, throughout the ones that have the love, love oracle of Eden. Um, but I have brought in what's the tea as well. And um, so Sagittarius, there's lots of different, there was a lot. Um, hmm. So there's definitely Aquarius as well coming through. And Piscean, because I am in this energy. Uh, Libra, a lot of Libra. Some Gemini, maybe. Uh, we'll see, okay? I'm going to get your charms and bring the camera down. And then we'll see. There were some yo-yo messages, too. I don't know if I'm even going to bring up. Oh, oh, this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out there. Because there's a sense of being drawn in cousins or something. Um, I feel like cousins are going to be coming in, maybe ones you haven't seen for a while. I, as a Libra, okay, felt very drawn in to like reconnect with some cousins, Libra and Sagittarius. No way you're getting the sword, the samurai sword. Okay, maybe very specific if you're drawn into this. Uh, this is like cutting something out. The samurai sword, okay, what's the tea? I'm setting it on this pile. Um, a purple butterfly. A little purple butterfly. I'm going to put this on the love oracle of Eden. These are the higher love messages, right? So for some, there could be um, pass on loved ones, sometimes connect ancestors, spirit guides, whatever you need to know. And the what's the tea brings in, you know, the people in our lives we're dealing with. All right. And it's kind of that. It's, grab your popcorn, right? <laughs> So, like I said, sometimes this brings in those worldly things, right? So, don't make enforce any of this, okay? Whoa, the deer. No way, a purple deer even. What is up with this reindeer? Okay, I, wow. So, you only got three charms and one yogi. The purple reindeer. I don't even remember seeing this one. It actually has um, three little flowers or snowflakes on it. So definitely Christmas time Sagittarius is maybe this for your birthday, but also the Capricorns. Um, so you can have that in your chart. All the purple. Wow. Uh, there's definitely a lot of, as I look at this, I'm seeing a lot of, I see some Aquarius energy right here with this part. And then I, uh, I actually see a lot of the Libra or, um, as well as, um, oh, maybe Sag Virgo. Okay. Um, and then Capricorn. Okay, so your Yogi T message says, your breath fills you with energy anywhere and anytime you need it. All right? So taking some deep breaths, <sighs> filling yourself with energy. I have to, I have to bring this up because there is something about, I, I feel like I brought this up before with some Sagittarian energy. Um, and the Aquarius um, and Libra, okay, and Capricorn is with this too, oh my, okay, um, the, a car, I'm watching for the deer, um, you know what I mean, um, driving, and, um, very important about do not drive intoxicated or get in a car with someone intoxicated, understand um I feel like I have to share something a little personal with this one okay 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 here we go even wow 44 so um dark night of the soul uh I feel like a lot of you probably have heard this went through it probably uh we could have been those tower moments, <laughs> uh, scorpionic things that flip our world upside down, whatever happened. It, I feel like they happen again, you know, as you, when your first one, so me personally, it has to do specifically with Aquarius, Sagittarius, there's Gemini, Capricorn as well. Um, and I'm a Libra, Taurus as well. Okay. Virgo. Oh my, I'm pulling in a whole bunch here, but in particular, 
<laughs> in particular that I was 11 when I had my, when I went through my first dark night of the soul, when I really reflected and understood that. And that was uh, a car accident where one of my, I lost a friend who was my age. Um, there's this connection and to this day, uh, what is it now? 33 years later. So very interesting with the synchronicities. Okay. I'm just seeing a lot of this. He would 40, he would be 44. So he was 11 too. Or th gosh, I'm like, it's like 10, 11. Anyways, it was just his birthday. And, uh, it, all of these are interlinked. Okay. So that's for something specific, someone specific, right? But for all of us, be wise if you're going to be out there in the world. Okay. The samurai sword. Man, this also makes me think, that is so crazy. You got the samurai sword. I don't even remember this before. Like, hmm. This makes me think of my brothers. Yeah, my brother. Huh. Samurai sword. Wow. Japanese. There was a lot of really cool music. I'm not going to jump into the music right now. But let's see. I'm going to... Whew. I have also the signs and sky mates and actually a Sagittarius um, gave me this deck and I brought that up before and it was from the liquor store. So I'm also bringing up alcohol. Um, in my Libra reading, I there was a little chat about this too. So anyways, we'll see. Okay, I'm just going to... No way, cyber bully. So Scorpios... Some of you can have Scorpio rising for sure, for sure. Okay, okay, I'm pulling in. So if you do, like I said, or you could be a Scorpio actually with the Sagittarius, which cusp energy. So maybe this is going to be that one side of cusp, Scorpio Sagittarius is, right? Okay. And this could be all the other, like at 1221 or 12, yeah, the Capricorn uh, Sagittarius where we've got 1122. Oh, and I know both of you. <laughs> But there's definitely some in the middle. I kept seeing 12, 13, 12, 13. Even um, Mexico, there was something to do with Romania. Um, Russian. Hmm. Okay, this says cyberbully. That's what I see underneath there. But I'm going to shuffle it. And the reason I say that is because that was like the first card that popped out for Scorpio. So this is why I've interlinked you. It was the last one. I did shuffle all these and then split it just for your deck so also something about jackpot oh my gosh oh my gosh so uh, maybe this has to do with gambling <coughs> could have to do with gemini <laughs> uh wow scorpio gemini popping with this i'm seeing money here winning money got rich inheritance unexpected money this is a scratch ticket oh i did bring up aries too so these one coming through a little bit with this that's what i split it up to wow jackpot hmm hmm whatever that means for you you know because i'm also seeing like this is like a place a place too okay i'm gonna give him some good shuffles i i did split these up which is interesting i find that i each sign can get a little bit different interesting information i see someone cry crying over you sad hurt upset that came through with libras and i see bad karma Ooh, um a jackpot once again the winning maybe someone's seeing you winning or receiving something uh, inheritance things like this i don't know something like that so mm, okay and the skines and sky mates will give more clarification okay so what do we got for the sagittarius just get a couple of these for all those Sagittarius, I'm getting three. Wow, I see fake flexing. Someone doesn't have any money. Chill. Oh my gosh. Child services. Oh no. In their head. Overthinking. Stressed. Overanalyzing. Fake flexing. Acts rich. Flosses money. Acts fancy. Shows off. Oh my gosh, Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Kids are at risk of being taken or is about to. Reporting something, neglect or abuse. Now, I, I brought this up with Libra before. Oh my goodness. So, you understand this also kind of pops sometimes um, 
with the cancer sign. I think it came through with Virgo. I, this came through with Sagittarius before and cancer sign, okay? Um, Libra, someone's in their head overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing, maybe Virgo even, and fake flexing. Man, okay, so don't take this if this is, I don't wanna create any fear, but you know, be wise. Hmm, I, I do know a lot, several people, and this is kind of how it's like, uh, it could be even family, other families seeing, if, if someone is has children, young children, and there's a lot of partying and neglect and things like that going on, then this is, uh, you know, but keep that in mind. Oh, man, cutting something out, the samurai sword. Oh, I also know, yeah, yeah, I also know of this with Taurus. Virgo, Leo, okay, in their head, overthinking, stressed, that was, a, yeah, I'd be stressed about that, fake flexing, ex rich, flosses money, ex fancy, and shows off, a la dollar bill, yeah, hmm, so that's fake, ex rich, okay, well, we'll just see, so, wow, Taurus, Capricorn, hmm, Long term. So this partnership, and I may just, you know what I mean? I'm just reading the cards, guys. I told you. This is some worldly stuff, even. Long term comrades. This Taurus and Capricorn. Living or manifesting their best lives. What you'll remember. They build with intention. So this is bringing up different partnerships. And as I said, Sagittarius, so you could be a moon or a rising or Venus sign and have these as your stuff, you know, and this could be other family members. So if you don't know a couple that's a Taurus and a Capricorn in your life, um, and maybe this is bringing attention and awareness, you know, Gemini Pisces. Wow. So I'm also, if I'm going to tell you the potentials, these could be, um, father, grandmother, grandfather, sister, Mm. So Gemini Pisces, the effervescent spirits, co-writing a riveting screenplay, then starring in it. Being around them feels like hearing your favorite song. Oh boy, your favorite song, huh? Okay, I'm just going to see what we have for that, okay? I don't know. I'm like, I don't want to ever bring that up. I'm like, I don't want this card here, guys. I'm like, oh. Aries, Aquarius. So we're getting all these different ones. I'm seeing the energizer and the thought leader debriefing their viewpoints after a heated debate. What you'll remember, they amplify each other's strengths. So there's quite a few different scenarios and couples, right? Mercury, communication. So dealing with communication being important here. Your Yubra spirituality, Mercury, is represented by Usa, Usu. He's known as the master of languages, a trickster even, the guru of both communication and crossroads. I don't, and I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. I don't know. I'm just too, so apologize. Isu is called on to deepen our verbal and nonverbal gifts as we quickly solve problems using the power of thought, intention, and intellect. Okay. So Mercury in their head. So there's a lot of, you know, Virgo and Gemini energy, but maybe you have a Mercury in Aries, Aquarius, or the thoughts, communication, writing things down. Maybe these were things that were talked about or spoken about. Cancer Leo. Hmm. The ocean and the sunrise. So maybe these are some people that are in their head regarding you, right? Or you could have Cancer Leo in your chart, Sagittarius, somewhere like this. The ocean and the sunrise. Don't you think that this is moon and sun right there? Pretty interesting. Hmm. Moon and sun. Okay, so for some of you, you can have double. I'm, I'm going to say you could be a moon and sun Sagittarius as well. But um, for both of these, hmm. Their contrast create an alluring electric friction. Overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing. The cancer person. This is really interesting because this, I, I do know, I don't think, I do not think that this is you dealing with this issue. 
I think this is someone in your life, in your family, or something like that. Or you could be, somehow you're interlinked to know something about it. Okay, the fake flexing Aries Taurus. <laughs> A whole vibe. Debating whether to go out or stay in. That's what the Aries Taurus is doing here. What you'll remember, despite their contrast, the passion between them is otherworldly. So this brings up compatibility, understanding of these different people in our lives, how we work with them. Even if it's not in a romantic, we're a couple, you know what I'm saying? Friends, cousins, neighbors, co-workers, um, or other couples, you know, something like that. This shows the compatibility. All right, so let's get one more on the fake flexing. I feel like the Aries and the Taurus would be. <laughs> Whoa, a lot about the Cancer Capricorn pulling over here. So that flew over there. I'm going to take this one to Taurus Capricorn. Okay, so remember, that was there in the beginning. The long-term comrades living or manifesting their best life. They'll build... And we had, I'm setting this one over here. Maybe there's some fake flexing a little bit with this. We got the Cancer Capricorn as well. Could be with the fake flexing. They are the divine counterparts, interesting enough. I don't know why you're getting so much Cancer sign, uh, <laughs> but whatever. Hmm, simplifying and beautifying their lifestyles. They'll tune out the noise and tune into each other. So what I really love about this as well Um in this particular dynamic, right, is this part of them as a couple, as a people working together in relationship, because the love oracle is relationship, right? They tune out the noise of e of the outside world, right? And they tune into each other on how to work and, and simplify their lives, beautifying their lives. There's a lot of Venetian with this too, yeah, I am going to say that there. They did all fly over here. Aquarius, Aquarius. So, double Aquarius, even. The conscious disruptors writing a book on the collective economics while indulging in herbal remedies. Yet, yeah, they're light years ahead, yet they're still here. Hmm. And then this final one is Uranus. Wow, so erratic change. So, a lot of Aquarian energy especially in this beginning, the Aries Aquarius energies. You can have that in your chart as well on the rising sign, moon sign, whatever. I'm seeing this is a lot of rising or, or, you know, these are the people. These are unexpected changes. This is in Taurus, okay? Um, which represents earth energy, our, our money, what we value, the physical, you know, things. And this is unexpected change. <laughs> so maybe even jackpot. Maybe you're going to receive something. Uranus is the type of energy that makes us talk about things other than others may prefer to brush under the rug. Oh, see, this is even this. Huh. See, that's why I was even talking about that. I find I'm, I'm going to go with this, okay, guys, because it was about the, the drinking or driving, being intoxicated or things like that. You know what I mean? And beyond um, alcohol and weed into deeper things, I also want to be say there's prescription things. So there, there, sometimes there's people who point fingers at things, but they're on prescriptions. So there, so yeah, that's a. Anyways, if there is children involved then they have to override uh those type of behaviors and thoughts and actions right okay erratic change um aquarius wow so that's why i brought that up um i brought that up okay sagittarius because in that dynamic when i was telling you my friend my friend who was 11, 10, um, you know, his mom had been drinking and, uh, and so over all this time, there's this 
there's these there's consequences for your actions and behaviors in this life. So this is where this is serious. I, I just kept getting that this one is serious. This is serious. That one's serious. Um because I kept also getting that, you know, it wasn't like um, you know, it was like there was a push. I, I mean, there's a reason why. There was she she had to get back to go to work the next day, da 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 da. And it wasn't like she was, you know, there was time in between her having her drinks and driving even. So I'm just saying, if it's you're you're under stress or pressure to get in a car and drive because of a job um and you have been having drinks or anything stay or get a driver this is important cuz this is why things like this come to light okay Whew. um yeah because there's always that what if. And I'm going to tell you why Taurus is also involved with this. Okay, okay. Sagittarius, why Taurus is also involved. Because also, there's a very same thing. I talked about this in, maybe it was the Aquarius. I think I talked about it in the Libra reading with my own brother. And this one has to do with something very different. And it has to do with suicide. But he's uh, an 18, you know, young, 18 in life. He got it. Skid Row. Oh my gosh, Ricky was a young boy. Ricky. Damn. This one getting to me, guys. This one getting to me. Someone taking screenshots or getting evidence, proof and facts. So be aware. Or you are. You need to do that. I don't know. Hmm, let's get something out. I'm like, let me let me cover up this one, okay? Let's see, is there anything else? This is interesting. I'm all, this is interesting. <sighs> this is serious, though. This is real. This is real life stuff. Hmm? Jackpot. Something to do with jackpot. Gambling, winning money, got, in, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. Okay, this one's sticking out in their head. Whoa, and Michael Jackson, the Jacksons. Okay, Jack. What's up? Interesting. Wants to be like you. Acts like you. Dresses like you. Looks like and copies you. Maybe a Cancer Leo people. They're in their head even. Impersonator. And then this one. Creeping. Fake flexing. Taurus Capricorns. Hmm. That one came through for Sagittarius one. So the first time I ever pulled this deck was with a Sagittarius one on one. Um, so very interesting. I have one more of these before I switch into uh, trying some new stuff. It's definitely changed. And I'm going to tell you the Leo energy changed it. So maybe we'll pull some Leo when we get into this one. But as I can see, there's a lot of Aquarius. There's so many Aquariuses right here. And oh my gosh, there's so much. This is about laws. These are, this is also about, even though this is about winning, getting inheritance, got rich. Um. Okay, someone even got like, this is, okay, Sagittarius, this is pulling in some Aries and, and um, Gemini energy for me too as well. Um, getting like a really, a scratch ticket that's like a big winner, okay? Um, <laughs> or going and going to these places and gambling, you know, you know, you know, Nevada, whatever. Where we can go win a mucka. <laughs> All right, so there's a grudge holder, possibly. Oh, well, that that's interesting. So I brought this up. Leo got this card. Okay. So we'll see if that pulls in with that. I'm just gonna set these off to the side now. 
Let's see. I'm going to get the higher messages before I go to the rest of the what's the TK with the, the TK. almost said the TKO. The, what's the knockout here? Okay, so we got this butterfly. This is all about transformation, right? Freedom. Even the purple is, this light purple is about your thoughts. And someone being in their head wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you, copies like you. Copycat. Wisdom. Sagittarius gaining this wisdom. Gnosis. This is the last card in this deck. Higher wisdom. Some of you, this is even Sagittarius moons. And you got a Virgo or something. Capricorn sun or something like this. I'm setting the butterfly off. Maybe it's even the Libra. What is Michael Jackson? Oh, oh shit. Sagittarius, guess what? Guess what? You might have an impersonator actually like copying, making fake account. That looks like you or something. I saw like... This person I know is a Sagittarius and it, I brought it up because the, they keep, I, they keep, I get like new friend requests and they're fake. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what you're doing, but I know it's not you. And I got that wisdom already <laughs> that they're fakers. Surrender. Okay. Surrender was underneath there. And I do remember seeing this. So surrendering, being open for this wisdom, for this gnosis. There's a song called Russian Circles. Or no, excuse me. It's a band, Russian Circles and Gnosis. Hmm. I'm going to shuffle it and see what comes out, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <coughs> oh, my gosh. So, I've been watching the show Succession. It's an HBO one. And, uh... The dude... So, if you're not watching it, this might not mean anything. Maybe you were watching it. Maybe you watched it, but... Whatever, um... I'm gonna, I'm not like gonna spoil anything, but one of the characters' name is, I swear it's Macaulay Culkin's like brother, right? And his name in, in the show is Roman. And I've never heard of anybody, like I'm like, I've never come across an actual person named Roman. And then sure as shit, there's like three people pop in my life named Roman and understanding that they are Russian. I, well, I don't know why, but they're, yeah, something like that. Vulnerability, being your true authentic self, taking... See, I was even saying, okay, that this is um, laying down like the weapons of war and still being compassionate and tender. Knowing, look how strong underneath. This is about mm, being, there was a time of feeling like you had to protect yourself. There's a little Chiron energy. But she's laying that down and, and still having resilience and strength. Being true vulnerable self. You know what I thought I think, guys, is I want to just say how awesome. I, I'm just gonna bring this up because you might not realize this, but this beautiful Oracle deck, it is February while I'm doing this. And I this is you know, um, I believe Black History Month. And I unknowingly, without even trying, decided, yep, I'm opening this love oracle. And in the Pisces reading, so I'm bringing up some Pisces, I I read this part about it. A.G. Hamilton, we hope this product brings you as much positive energy as it has for us creating it. We have loved producing these cards with all the wonderful humans that we have encountered and had the pleasure of capturing. Our sincere gratitude goes out to all those involved in this journey with us. And they are a Black-owned publisher. This is their second deck from Tazama. I will, right, I'm not going to read all of this, but just so you can see. Oh, Chantel Hamilton. Hamilton. Hmm. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that for some weird reason. Because I didn't even put it together. And then I was like, well, I think it's beautiful the way things just fall into place. Hmm. Yeah. There's passion. Maybe someone wanting some passion. And individuality. So Aquarius is even maybe somebody dealing with Aquarius or Scorpio. Who else got yeah, uh, Scorpio. Hmm. Okay. That's more of that mars the energy. Okay. All right. Let's see, let's see. What do we got? Loyalty. Where is your loyalty lie? The cowrie beads. This is about loyalty. Ooh. Right. That's a little tricky, right? Loyalty. What are you loyal to? Who are you loyal to? Where do you go to when you need 
She looks to be pulling away. The samurai sword is there, remember? But this is also the butterfly. We got uplift others. This came through, I believe, with the Geminis and maybe even Aquarius. So uplifting others, working together, tallying each other, and creeping. Surrender is under there too. I want to see and that. There's that that uh, individuality. Um, the communication. Some of you, there's Scorpio is your Mercury. Sagittarius Mercury, Aries Mercury. I mean, this is Gemini Virgo energy too, but they could be creeping. Aquarius is surrender and being very open. So I'm going to get surrender as the main card and then wisdom. All right. This is interesting. Like I said, I, this deck with a Sagittarius, both of these, I, I've had like personal readings. And so, although I'm not, I'm seeing if there is something similar that comes out for the entire energy of the Sagittarians. And when I do see that, not all is the same, right? But I am seeing a little bit, which is lovely. All right, I am going to read these before I go on to the next. What are we on time? 3111. All right, let me make sure you can see. Okay, let's start with this. Loyalty. I open it up to sacred timing and what you, what you, what's important um aries cancer really pulling with this maybe even gemini pisces um that's why i open it up to and this self-care even 34 35 i feel like someone might be 36 actually <coughs> okay loyalty the to encourage devotion 24 2 4 and to honor the bond in a relationship, to be a steadfast source of dependence to another, to acknowledge and give gratitude to others who show loyalty to you, to remain true to your origin. He, a being, walks forward wearing a real, a regal African cowrie headdress. A subject follows behind them, gently bowing as a way to show their loyalty. Ah. Consider who you are devoted to and why you choose to give them that devotion. Loyalty is noble, as long as it's not blind. Identifying and honoring the characteristics and principles you're called to commit to is crucial. Before you're able to be steadfast source of dependency for another, you must first be able to depend on yourself. Pay attention to who is steadfast in their loyalty to you. In what ways can you show them appreciation and express your gratitude? Wow, even I'm seeing 625 and 67. So some of you, it could be another Gemini. I see Aquarius, Taurus, and Cancer with this as well. Um, but we have all these other signs, right? So the affirmation is, I am both loyal and devoted to myself and those who are loyal and devoted to me. <laughs> All right, now we have uplift. Wow. Uh, so there's definitely, I feel like the, the Gemini and a Sagittarius moons, even um, Aquarius's with Sagittarius moon. We got Cancer Leo as well, possibly. Whatever. That doesn't mean that has to be you. Maybe those are people in your life, right? So uplifting and then surrender and i feel like surrender was going to be one of your main ones but surrender and wisdom were the ones that were right there right surrender i might go to that one first yeah three eight maybe even in march or something i'm seeing pisces gemini scorpio with this 12 13 Wow, I saw 12, 13, Sagittarius is, <laughs> I saw that twice now, okay, maybe even like I said, maybe there's Piscean with this too. I release any resistance I'm holding on to in my life and surrender to my higher power. To give into emotions that can overwhelm, to embrace those emotions and feel a sensation of release. A being is in an open position, knees apart, chest back and open to the skies, arms open wide, palms up ready to release and surrender. The lightning indicates a celestial awakening, a powerful release or powerful things to come once one has surrendered. Trying to hold on to it doesn't 
It all doesn't benefit you or anyone who genuinely cares about you. Not allowing yourself to experience and embrace the full spectrum of human emotions doesn't keep you stable. It keeps you stagnant and small. And so let go and let God step into the full essence of your being by surrendering all that you are and all that you desire to be to the higher power that is able to do immeasurably more than you can ask or imagine. Wow, that's a powerful card, right? Wow. I am going to get some more what's the tea on these as well, right? <laughs> Understanding that, okay? I'm going to go to uplift and wisdom. Wisdom, like I said, is the final card in this deck, which is really beautiful. Um, I'm going to do Capricorn's reading, and Capricorn didn't seem to be there as well. Um, I mean, definitely, I feel like this is as we shift over. So more of you that have the more Capricorn are dealing with Capricorn and Piscean. Wow, for me, this is actually even maybe even bringing in grandmother grandfather energy for some or um daughter mm, sister mm, friend something like that okay let's see uplift i'm all uplift here we go, four, three, no way, 43. We rise by lifting each other. Six, seven again. Hmm. And there's unity with this. To encourage the elevation, like I said, there was some Gemini energy. There's also Aries with that Cancers, Mothers, Geminis, Sevens even, maybe Libra um, or Cancer saying, yeah uplifting to encourage the elevation of each other to support and motivate others three beings are united in a circle participating in a crowning ceremony with each being giving giving a crown while receiving one heavy is the head that wears the crown no way i literally oh my gosh guys there was a song today that i listened to that said that Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Which one was that? Did you listen to it, Sagittarius? But lighter is the load when carried by a community. That's the continuation of it. I cannot think of what this song was today. I listened to so many different ones. Um, it might have been a Kevin Gates song. Or Wu-Tang what is the song I heard today? I see a giant key. Like there's this big key. Wow. You weren't designed to take it all on alone. Humans are tribal beings. Elevate the divinity you see in those around you. And you'll begin to experience the benefits of communal reign. Reign. Okay, I'm just going to say, you know, like I said, I listened to Skid Row today. Also, Home Sweet Home. What is this? I'm like, is it Motley Crue or Poison? What is it? Skid Row? What is it? I'm all, wait. it's one of those 80s bands, you know? 1986 was spotlighted as well, something like that. And yeah, uh, 97 and uh, 79. Very, very fascinating. The final one is wisdom. Four, five. The, the nine again. I am grateful for the wisdom I have acquired over time. To encourage seeking out the wisdom of others. To acknowledge the experiences one has been through alone or jointly that have brought renewed wisdom. A being stands on a stone plinth of books amongst the clouds with a book in hand. Socrates said, wonder is the beginning of wisdom. The process is complex in its simplicity. Wonder, wander, process, repeat. Wisdom comes with the rep repetition of the process and the realization that no matter how much knowledge you acquire, you'll never have all the answers. And I saw another meme today that was something very much like that. That was, um, you know, 
the wisdom is knowing that you don't have all of that's that's the wisdom very fascinating i hope you've enjoyed with that okay i'm gonna jump over to the what's the tea for this remainder of it 40 minutes exactly and this cute little so i'm definitely pulling in sagittarius down with capricorn or december birthdays i'm just saying you know maybe january no maybe i mean because this could be rising sign being a sign as well right moons and if you, the interesting thing, right? So even if you're sun sign, sometimes you're definitely going to have one of those cusps kind of as one of those. All right, so I'm going to look under this one and see what we got. Moves in silence. All right. Keeping it on the down though. I'm going to flow this through for all of you. I also see same shit, different day. Moves in silence, same shit, different day. Oh, bankrupt. That one came through for the Libra. Happiness hater moves in silence. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay. Who else was the happiness hater? I'm like, so as the other signs, you know, are getting these cards, if it pulls in, then that's why I also give you those other zodiacal signs, right? And then the signs and skies might give more clarification. Okay, let's see. To finish this up for the Sagittarius, let's see what's the T for these rejected oh someone feels very rejected maybe you need to block someone and we'll get more on this someone feels really rejected maybe maybe there was something about oh, okay i'm gonna look at all of it even though this is maybe this has to do with those others right maybe something the capricorn even but having who's loyal who's not Winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected monies. So this can also be inheritance, right? Uh, unexpected, right? And this is when something passes or someone passes. But this is also... People can receive money from the government for uh, taking other people's... Well, taking care of other people's children, I guess. KTR rejected someone feels very rejected we also have that aries aquarius 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 cancer capricorn right here the communication acting unfazed chill uplifting others the happiness hater hmm okay let's see Woo! this one is popping out Dirt digging, looking for dirt on you, or vice versa. <laughs> That's like kind of the same thing, right? In their heads, Cancer Leo. Like I said, I'm going to get the size, signs and sky makes to give more clarification for whom that might be, or it could be you even. Maybe it's another Sagittarius even. Fake account. I told you. I told you. I saw this. This is very interesting that this came through. So like I'm saying, this. I brought this up because... So, so I got a, like a friend request and I'm like, this has happened before. And I know I'm like the same, it's like the same person that keeps getting like hacked and it's older people, grandmothers or grandfather, you know, it's like, but this is someone with a fake social media account, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, fake account. Maybe there's questions about it. Spiritual hater, someone who hates on your spirituality, light, magic, power, um, that came through with Leo's, okay? Uh, uninterested. Ooh, uninterested. Walking away. Surrender. Okay. There's a spiritual difference. Religious belief difference. Okay, let's get one more about this surrender. Oh, I'm getting two. One over here for your... This is straight up from Angel Guidance. And maybe some of you, it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. No way. Every time, wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, so some DMX comes through. This is, you know, Earl Simmons. He, <laughs> he's Sagittarius. But there's also, and he says that, I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> oh, we got legal issues and Libra energy. Justice. Surrender. Court. Judges. Immigration. Lawyers. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm, I see the key again. Um, there's a song called Set It Off by William Beckett. 
Interesting enough. Huh. This came through with the Libra reading, so this might be intertwined with that. But this one flew over here, so there's a warning about someone being a wolf in sheep's clothing, even. Okay. And then we got legal issues. So this is definitely, wow. This could be, so I'm, I'm just saying Libras represent even justice. Uh, Sagittarius, you represent higher court. I don't know if you know this, but you represent higher court. You know, taking it to a federal level, <laughs> not just a state. Um, cult, like higher cultural that's why immigration there too hmm but we see the scales and that's always to me represents doing justice what's fair you know what's so weird we always i always get metallica and i'm like sanitarium okay okay the other song man sagittarius this makes me think of a taurus and a libra two libras but Alice Cooper's wind-up toy. And then I always think of, like, I don't know why, but there's something about that Sagittarius, leave me be. But it's like, Santa, Metallica, I was saying, <laughs> oh my goodness, what's up with the wolf and sheep clothing? I see someone's hooked, though. What is this? Getting hooked, getting caught by the bait hmm clout hungry say anything does anything makes up shit dramatic and the fake account running bad habits drugs addictions toxicities that's what it is they've been running oh my gosh okay Okay, okay, I got another Aquarius coming through for you. That's so crazy. This is someone who's passed on. These people have already passed that are coming through a lot. And there are people I personally know to bring up awareness to these types of things, I guess. Uh, oxys and stuff. Abusing it, doing it the wrong way. Thinking you're invincible. Running. Running. Clout hungry. Okay, I'm going to try and show you how to read this a little differently. I'm all, how to read this a little differently. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing these bad habits in reverse. So getting off of them, doing running and getting, you know, breathing. You know, maybe this is something you've already overcome. And like I said, these ones are some deep, and I almost was going to say even the Alice Cooper song is, hey, stupid. Hey, stupid. And if this isn't you, maybe it's just somebody you know. You know, the chances are that, that there's people in our life, Aquariuses, Tauruses, Sagittarius, whatever, Libras, uh, all of these different people or ourselves who have, and, and DMX, guys, his addictions. You know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, then this definitely is not for you. And good for you. Don't. <laughs> A grudge holder. Though, like I said, this one came out through with Leo. Doesn't mean that. Moving on. Thank you. Next. Played out. And Aries Libra. Looking you up. All right. Let's see. What do we got? I'm going to look over here and see. Uh, underneath there, Cancer, Sagittarius. All right. Sagittarius is dealing with Cancer science. There we go. <laughs> That's so, so crazy. Okay. Damn. There's so much deep shit coming through in this reading, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Okay. This brings me to another couple. And I don't name names, but these are these are true stories of things that happen in real life and shit, yo. So, uh, even maybe neighbors or different people you used to know, dis, uh, socialize with, or uh, things like that. Um, maybe, oh man, some of these things. So, 
that's the suicide is popping again. Um, I, I know a couple in the husband, okay, the cancer sign. All right. And maybe there was legal issues or things like this. Creeping. Maybe they're creeping as well. Having legal issues. So the cancer with the Sagittarius. And I know another couple like this and it's totally, no. I was like, it's totally fine. No. <laughs> Anyways. It says, this is the purifier and the mystic, okay? When these, uh, here's the thing. These cards right here, these signs and sky makes these compatibility. These are the high energy. When you're in your power, you're in healthy love for self and others. You you have your purpose. You know how to work well. This is, this to get to this being of the stage of being um, compatible with others, you have to have done some of your own healing and work. Um, it takes wisdom. All right. We got the purifier and the mystic. Well, you'll find them making music in their well-decorated loft. They make fantasy feel like reality. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to split it open. I also see the Cancer Scorpio. So, wow, interesting enough, this is quite a bit of the Cancer sign. And the Scorpio, a lot of water on this side. Maybe they're creepers, right? <laughs> Surrender, even. Creeping. Because there's creep in there. Spiritual homebodies. Brainstorming how to solve a social crisis. They look at each other with love in their eyes and warmth in their souls. All right. I'm going to shuffle it and I'm going to pull it out and find out a little bit more about all of these different, tea. what's the tea? Okay, what is this about being rejected or rejecting this, blocking this, feeling maybe Libra, Scorpio, oh no. <laughs> the hopeless romantics. Wow. Redecorating their home together. What you'll remember. A back and forth between happiness and drama. Maybe someone felt rejected or blocked. And this could be specific for you Sagittarius that have Libra or Scorpio in your chart. Or, you know what I mean? Uh, what about this digging dirt and gaining wisdom? I see Libra Capricorn with that. Possibly. And then that's that Sagittarius energy. Looking for dirt on you or vice versa. Oh, some of you Capricorns, I know. So, hmm. Uh, <laughs> Libra. I'm like, I don't know why you're doing that to the Sag, man. It must be it. Hmm. Okay, Virgo, Aquarius, Aquarius. It fell over here with the Aquarius. Virgo and Aquarius. The team players digging for dirt looking for dirt on you or you're digging for them that's interesting because this I'm, I'm and we got michael jackson an impersonator someone in their head trying to be someone else looking for dirt on you uh virgo aquarius pitching their latest invention to see the investors what you remember their combined powers of a sarcasm are undefeated capricorn wow this is even possibly, wow, Sagittarius. So 1221 to me right there is also a Sagittarius energy, Sagittarius Capricorn. And that's why I was saying this is maybe even pulled in more specific for those uh, other Sagittarius. Maybe you have Capricorn with, you know, moon or rising in Sagittarius. Yeah, man. But this is about Saturn too and uh, the planet of challenge. Earth, cardinal, it's handled. Even legal issues. Maybe it's dealing with your work or your family. Uh, well, I said, why is he family? Um, surrendering. Hmm. We also have Aries Gemini, the creative comrades looking up, looking up tickets to a new location. They fill life with laughter and adventure. Taurus, Scorpio, and the moon. Wow. 
So whether this be a moon sign that's specific for the moon signs and you have Taurus and you're a moon or a Scorpio and you're a moon sign, um, Sagittarius moon or Taurus Scorpio is your moon. It's specific. The moon's wisdom is healing, freeing us as we allow ourselves to fill the total range of emotions. It doesn't ask us to compartmentalize these feelings. The moon teaches us that everything we feel is useful, especially the feelings we try and discard. I find this fascinating because this was even here with the love and the surrendering, the emotions even, um, at the moon. And so maybe at this at a big full moon cycle, if you are getting this during February while I'm doing it, I think that's going to be in um, the full moon is... Uh, in Virgo energy, actually, but Taurus Scorpio. Hmm. Most of their communication seems nonverbal. Hmm. All right. That's all I have for that. I'm going to get just a couple more what's the tea just to finish it off for fun. All right. Five, 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 five. When I was looking at the clock, all right. The Scorpios was five, five, five. All right, ho hopefully, so that might be specific for some of you that are the Sagittarius with like a Scorpio moon or you have this Capricorn, something like that, right? The grudge holder's still under there. Like, like I said, a girl fight, a Leo for some of you. <laughs> it's a feminine woman. Okay, I'm just saying this is a feminine girl fight. Arguments, physical fight at war, wanting to compete, talking shit. So it could be Scorpio or Leo for some of you that I'm seeing this as. What's here? Moves in silence even. Talking shit. Oh, so there is like a grudge holder talking shit. That came through a lot for the Scorpio, okay? But I also see Leo with that. So that's very specific. <laughs> okay, let's just see. Uh, I'm just going to see what's the final messages for the Sagittarius is. This has been interesting. Oh, I forgot to ask. Find out about the wolf and sheep's clothing. I feel like someone is pretending to be your earth angel or that they care. Like, you know what I mean? Something like that even. Because we got wolf and sheep's clothing. Anything else about the wolf? Moves in silence. Shh. She's looking over at this angel guide haunted by you it has something to do oh man it's might be very much scorpionic could be libra but the haunted virgo because virgo got this as well memories flashbacks there's trauma and side effects could be virgo aquarius sagittarius is getting this wisdom fake smiles yes yeah, scorpio is pulling a lot now oh, i'm just saying not that i'm saying it's them okay please know that i'm just saying that this came through with them and I'm sitting by the Capricorn, Aries, Geminis, Taurus, Scorpios. Talking shit, these two came through for Scorpio. So if you have that in your chart, okay, thief. They're a thief. Wow. <coughs> um, that's what I see. A groupie. Uh, the Leo Scorpio. Hmm. Anything else? Let's see. One final thing about even those legal issues. Okay. Um, running. Someone's running from him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> running from the legal issues. This one flew out over here because this wolf in sheep's clothing. It had romantic love affair. A secret lover. What? Sex fix. What? This is the wolf in sheep's clothing. I want more information. I might have already pulled it, but I want information about that one, right? Talking shit. Maybe someone's talking shit and saying that there is a secret lover or a played out in Aries even. Libra. Scorpio. Sagittarius. Spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. Karmic friend. Can't fully trust them. Tension. Secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. All right. Let, let's see. I'm just going to see. One, one more. I mean, these ones get juicy. I want to know. 
Moves of silence. I see it as a Scorpionic, too. Is it? Libra Scorpio. Mm -hmm. All right. What about this romantic love affair? A sex fix? A wolf in sheep's clothing? Mars. Yeah, that's the passion. Mars shows us what we be doing if we just let ourselves do it. Oh, wow. It also shows us what we're afraid to do, even if we know that doing so would unlock another level of potential for us. Our Mars sign represents the initiative or lack thereof that we may have in life. It shows us how we assert ourselves or how we don't. Pisces is under there. The Pisces, Pisces, dream weavers. They may make you lose track of time. Aquarius. Hmm. January 20th through February 18th. I don't know why that isn't. They also have Saturn and Uranus, right? Air sign. We are beyond what we think we are. That's what Aquarius is saying. And Pi whoa, Aquarius, Pisces. So very specific. Okay, there you go. Libra. The Taurus, Taurus. Pisces, Pisces. Taurus, Taurus. Gemini, Libra. Damn. Scorpio Capricorn. I don't know, but no, I got, there's a whole bunch here. Virgo Libra. Masters of Manifestation. Hmm. They're insatiably curious about each other. Oh, is that cute? All right. I hope that has helped. Damn. Okay. Keep it quiet. There's a, <laughs> wow, Sagittarius. Very interesting. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.